That he did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I... And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern... Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. <coughs> Nothing to worry about. If so, then keep up. Yes, sir. come back to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. Atreus, to me! Look, back near the giant's head. What? What is this place? Fishermen would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. Pat to the exit on the other side.
leave here. <coughs> Back under his palm. We're almost there. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant. Rode a giant falling hammer. Fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? That you have come a long way. Thanks. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel room to Jotunheim, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye. But his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. It seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. Question. If Ymir was the first giant, where did he come from? In the beginning, there was Ganungagal, the great boy. There were no realms yet, only primordial forces. There was fire, and there was ice, and there in the void they met and produced... Water? More than water. The mystic lifeblood of something entirely new. From this water, Ymir took form and became a being of pure creation and chaos, mother and father to all that came after. Even the Aesir? Aye. Every god, man and beast came first from Emir's flesh. Though it was the Aesir who thought themselves so superior that they should hold dominion over the rest of creation. It was Odin who took arms against his creator and spilled Emir's lifeblood with his spear. A necessary evil, he would say, to bring order to the realms. In the earth's torn flesh, Odin would fashion the realm of Midgard for his own. Called himself All-Father, as if he was the creator, and not the creator's destroyer. A small, covetous tyrant. The mirror? Huh? Oh. Sorry, my boy. Ah, uh, you know, I think at best we just end it there, actually. Okay. 
I know I saw something. I saw it too. Rhea did say the Jotunheim Realm Tower was missing from the lake. But maybe only kinda? Very strange indeed. vault is behind that magical lock. The entrance to Tyr's vault is at the bottom of these stairs. Whenever you decide it's time to go after the Black Rune, yeah? Got another favor to ask you two. What do you want, Dwarf? I got another lead on my old pal on Vari. Meet me at the Lonsuther Mines. There's some fancy dancy loot in it for you. Another lead? But we already found him. Well, found his hand anyways. I'll explain at the mines. These ones is just south of the river pass. Now you two want something, or are you just gonna stand there all gag-scrapped and slack-jawed? So what'd you find out there? 